Archer Daniel Midland report blowout earnings in an environment where buying crops and selling crops uh, continue to struggle. Joining me now from Chicago is Mike Hertzer of Bloomberg News. Uh, Mike, what was your biggest takeaway from earnings? You know, it was the second quarter in a row where nutrition, their nutrition business really outshined the traditional ag business. And they're really starting to make some strides from uh, pet food and flavors for, for a variety of different food products. So we're watching ADM uh, kind of move upstream uh, in a pretty big way. Can you help me compare and contrast like what it means for its rivals like a Bungie, the direction that Bungie's taken versus the direction uh, that ADM's taken? I think ADM has been just very aggressive in moving upstream and, and trying to have the higher value products versus just kind of your traditional animal feeds or raw materials. And um, that's been a, a multi-year effort that's just now really starting to pay off. Uh, what, do, what do these companies do as we go forward if we wind up having some kind of stagnation in global growth because of the virus fears and you also continually have low soybean prices, for example, what other levers can an ADM pull? You know, before coronavirus hit, everybody was really keyed in on the African swine fever virus in China. And as uh, maybe China starts to rebuild its hog herd, they, they should have greater demand for uh, animal feed. So I think uh, ADM in particular thinks that China will start ramping up its purchases uh, to meet its trade deal commitments in the second half of the year and going forward just hoping to kind of continue to rebuild animal herds mm -hmm. and selling animal feed as, uh, as, as the world's citizens eat more protein. If ADM wants to diversify anywhere else or buy anything else, what is there left? You know, that's a really good question. I think, you know, they, they're still trying to divest from the ethanol business. I think that's kind of their first priority is to, to try to, to get out of that bef before they make new investments. But I can't be sure.